are creating with digital papers. I have scraps, but I also have others that are, you know, scraps. I just already fussy cutted them. I have digital papers here. I have digital papers that I already fussy cutted here. I also purchased some elements like, uh, you know, those journaling packs. I really like those. But I purchased a lot of digital papers. See, another bunch that I already fussy cutted. Um, and I have like some scraps here. Some of my, some are my own digital papers like these. These are my own right here. I have Marta's. I have all kinds. And we're going to create a vintage grungy elements and yeah we're gonna chit chat about this and we're gonna create some beautiful pieces so how about we jump right in okay so while I pause the video and prep for you know the next segment of this I found even more digital papers more elements so how about we just chit chat and you know chit chat and craft see where this leads because I like this um, this group of mushrooms and these digital came from Marami Small Art, the beautiful Marta, which is pretty much for me um, the reason I started all this. I've said that many times, but for those of you who are new, aside from saying welcome to my channel, um, <coughs> you will um, <clears throat> also get to know how I started. You know, with time and videos, you'll hear me chit chat about my beginnings on and off. But yeah, I just seen these and I thought, oh my goodness, because I didn't gather enough stuff. I didn't show them enough at the beginning. Why not show them even more and cut more because it's never enough. Now, I have said this before and I can feel it coming over me as we speak. So that's why I'm talking about it right now. When you do have a lot of things, like I just showed you, and of course I'm adding some more, you can become overwhelmed because you, there's so many things you could do. And then you kind of start getting frozen about it because there's so many things you could do. But then how do you choose what to do, right? So um, this is not the best example, because I, I tell you all the time, don't get out, you know, don't get too many things out. Now, in my defense, I have to say, the things I showed you are not out. They're not all around in, on my desk. They're still in their respective drawers that I just, you know, opened and showed you the items from. And the only really things I have on my desk are these. So I call them the bases, right? The bases of tags and the bases of... Well, actually, those are pretty much all tags, right? So because I was in the idea, I was I would be creating um, tags. Right now, I'm just punching holes to get a uh, little scissors in here, just because I really want to define this part here where I think it'd be nice to see. There, I think the element looks a little better. Um, yeah, so not everything is out. Because I would get overwhelmed. I really would. And no, we're not just going to make tags. We're going to create whatever comes to our mind. And I'm hoping that this um, craft and chat will help you get started. And not stay stuck um, in overwhelmed zone. Okay, so let me just get a bigger ink pad. Which color do I want? This is the dark one. Yeah. Because I have this one, which I really love. I just find that when I'm crafting a lot of stuff, I'd rather go like this than... Anyways, it's just a thing, right? <laughs> it's just how I feel. There you go. And it's almost the same color, so... Yeah, so I'm hoping this video, this craft and chat, will help you get out of this, um, you know, the creative funk or the creating overwhelming feelings we get when we have too many things or just inspire you some days we, we really just don't know what to do you know we have all these beautiful things we want to play and because we think unless we create a big you know a big journal a big uh, element thing then what's the point well what the point is is 
you're creating you're in your studio and you're starting to process see i just grabbed this this is leftover papers i found uh, other digitals that i love with butterflies and moths i found this that i never really worked with a whole lot and these are my own digital papers any one of you who are french or would like to have french in your work these are all real streets not the real addresses because i had to make those up but these are all streets from montreal this is where i grew up this is the street i grew up on right so these are all streets that exist in montreal every single one of them um unless they change sometimes they do change streets <laughs> but yeah so i'm thinking i'm gonna cut out one of them and actually why not uh uh this street shabbat that's a street oops sorry for the camera yeah and i'll include it somewhere i made them different colors because i like i find that sometimes you find address tags they're all black or white and i thought you know wood and then just like um cardstock you know cardboard color kind of a dark reddish um this is more like um washed up wood i would say and black and and this is also black but it's like a little fancier if you will i just wanted to give different options and different sizes as well i didn't want them to be too small um yeah okay hold on okay you don't know this but i just paused the video if you ever hear me scream i don't know if i'll be able to edit or if i'll leave it there no this is not about halloween or anything I am extremely terrified of spiders and unfortunately it seems that they like me so you know if there's a spider that's going to come right in front of my face from the ceiling it will be when I'm sitting down somewhere or you know go over my foot on the floor and my studio is in a basement and I don't know they like the basement I mean my basement is finished, but I don't know. They just hang out, I guess. <laughs> you know, every house has them. It's just for some reason, they like to show themselves to me. I'd rather they keep hiding to tell you the truth. Oh, and at work this week. Oh, my gosh. The biggest tarantula like spider just was right behind me walking on the street on the on the floor like, you know, and <laughs> Somebody that was in the office said, oh my God, what is that? And then I turned around and there she is. It's like she was following me or something. Oh, look at that. Look how this would look. Okay, you don't see that in video, but I was just interrupted by my phone. So, <laughs> I think I was talking about that gigantic tarantula. I don't know. Anyways, it doesn't matter. <laughs> for those of you who like how natural I am, you're going to love this. And for those of you who don't know me, you're going to say, oh my God, she's so confused. I'm not, ladies. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> well, yeah, I am a little bit, but. <laughs> okay, I'm just grabbing things here and it's hard, believe me. And you can try if you don't believe me. Just pretend you're filming when you craft alone in your room and just chit chat. You'll see, you lose track. <laughs> that or because I'm premenopausal, it's it's maybe it's that. I don't know. Uh, I don't want to bore uh, my audience here, but I think most of you are or have been through what I'm going through, and I think most of you understand. <laughs> Anyways, I'm just like folding paper here. This is a book page. I am not sure where I'm going. I'm just seeing what can be done and if it would look nice or what am I doing? I'm not sure. You know what? Hold on. Okay. Um, no, I, I said hold on, but I'm back. I'm just going to do, I was trying to figure it out off camera, but you know what? This is not reality. This is. So, and if it doesn't look good, then we'll just do what we can do and just chuck it chuck it chuck it i'm going to cut this with just my ruler because i'm too lazy to do otherwise there that's nice i'm just trying to see if we can make some sort of a little just a little fun pocket nothing nothing serious nothing too complicated there because again, this is about creating elements that you'll be able to put in your um, journals and, you know, 
just a little thing that you can glue on the page and it will be done. And I want to do something else with this because I really like the fact that I started to cut these. And frankly, it really looks cute. Look at it. Whoops, maybe a little too far. Look, just this is perfect. It's super cute. I just don't know. Maybe this will be a pocket as well. Maybe, oh, maybe a little corner pocket. What if I cut it diagonal? Because I want to see this. This is really pretty. Um, or maybe I'll put it higher and then I'll, yeah, but I don't want to cut it too much. I really want to see this. The paper in the back is really beautiful. I'll see about that or, or, hmm, yes, like a side thing. Oh yes, yes. Hold on. We're going somewhere here. This I'm not sure yet. I just saw this book page and I wanted to do something with it and before I do anything like glue it or sew it I'll, I'll decide after i will ink the edges so we know like you know what so we see that this is a pocket as well like this see now we we see pocket okay yeah and a little corner tuck right here and then i'll glue something here okay yeah i think this this could be nice um i will go ahead and sew it because i I think it'll look nice. I'm not sure what to do with this. Let me think. Hold on. Hmm. What if we make it into the shape of a. Okay, this was like that. I'm gonna. What if we make it into a shape of a tag? It could be a big loaded tag, like because it already has like two pockets. I don't know. What do you think? See, that's why I, that's that's what I'm saying. When you don't know what to do, just play around. Just play around. This is not bad. I think I'm gonna turn this into a pocket, um, a lo um, pocket tag, and this will become some sort of a side tuck, like for the page. Yeah. Hold on. Okay. Let me. Uh, you can glue it now. Um, I don't know if you recall. I just really folded the page this way up and then I took I I just you know folded it this way I really did nothing special um, so you can glue it I will go ahead and sew it okay so I did sew it I like that I like it a lot actually it's pretty cute don't know where it's going but it's gonna go I yeah because you know we've all seen these pockets that are like a diagonal here and another diagonal pocket here but I don't see them often with the straight one in and I don't know it's different I like it there we go okay for this part I will use again my ruler and I think this will be like the side of a page like you know um, oops well you know what I mean it's the it's the journal page and then you have this here on the side and it adds uh, you know oh, you know what I mean I just don't know why I feel like I need to show you Maybe because I'm worried if you're new, you don't know, but even the new people to this will know. It's just a page tuck, a little side tuck. Now, it would have to be for a smaller journal, clearly, because it's not very high. But a lot of my journals are about this high, so that's perfect. Um, plus, nothing is set in stone. It could become something else. You know, if I have a big journal, it could be part of a... A bigger page then or I'll glue that part on another part and then make it the right yeah 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 I could do that okay yeah because this is pretty large now for the side tuck because of these um, these mushrooms that I absolutely want to include hmm oh I like it look how pretty this is like fitting perfectly Okay, so now my question is, do I just put it on a bigger paper right away in view of a journal? Because if I make it longer and the journal is shorter, I can always fold it on each end. I could cut it. Um, hmm. I have all these beautiful papers as well. <gasps> oh, look at that. Okay, I'm going to glue this on that. But I will cut it so that I can keep this beautiful image for something else eventually. See, that's how you create a lot of scraps too. And um, 
you know what i think this edge is straight so i'm going to cut it with my cutter paper cutter trimmer because i want the edge to be straight on both sides so it doesn't look a little strange um yeah so we do create a lot of scraps now i'm not saying keep all your your scraps because first thing you'll know it'll be so overwhelmed with all the stuff it'll be worse than ever so no i don't recommend you keep all your scraps at all um try and be selective on what you you keep right so as you can see uh, my scraps are pretty big pieces because again and, and that's true if if your scraps are all tiny it's too much it's eventually you have to let it go and say you know what this is garbage that's enough <laughs> right so okay so i'm trying to see i will have to trim a tiny bit because otherwise i feel we don't see enough of the back paper but not too much because i want my little mushrooms to fit so i will cut maybe right like right there there perfect i think this will look nice oh yes i do like that number i would like to see it so i will lift it up oh you don't see that hold on it's in the paper right there um yeah as you can see i'm working with a lot of digital papers a lot of scraps uh, book pages my own digital papers purchased ones i mean I know junk journals definitions have been not controversial but you know there's been discussion what's a real junk journal what it is you know I know there's definitions for real junk journals and it is okay that they exist because they help define what's what there's nothing wrong with it what is wrong with it I find is if people judge what you're doing based on what they believe should be now that's different and to tell you the truth most of us in the crafting world i find are very kind very understanding very supportive and i hope it always stays this way because in the end we are creating with paper and i think we're all paper lover to start with and a lot of it most of it is vintage because i think we all have this romanticized idea of the past or maybe we long for memories or maybe we long for things that were that are not anymore and well let's face it they did not things very nicely in, in the past i find everything was so filled with details and beauty and everything was done by hand um now everything is you know machine made so I think, I don't know where I'm going with this, but <laughs> I think what I'm trying to say is if you craft with things that you find, bravo, that's amazing. I'm so happy that you can find elements. If you craft like me with a lot of digitals, that's okay too, because you know what? I don't have an old bookstore. I don't have a grandma that gave me a bunch of old papers she found in the attic. I don't have that. I really just don't. Um, so I try and make vintage my own way. Um, I do find old books like right here. So that's very positive for me. I love it. Um, I do use sometimes scraps of fabric that were used for something else. So they're not necessarily vintage, but they're, they're scraps, right? So they're junk. Technically they would go in the trash. Um, old boxes of cereal I've used numerous times for the base of my journals so you know it's a little bit of everything um some of you are very lucky to live near you know places that sell vintage things i'm not i don't have any of that around here so this is my way of having my own little you know vintage things it's a mix of new a mix of old and digital papers that were made by people like me uh, to bring you some idea of the vintage feel and then we create more things with it right so don't judge yourself too harshly if you just like to work with digitals i mean there's a reason there's so many beautiful digital creators out there like pink monarch print prince is one of my absolutely favorite i always buy hers um my portrait prints the same thing marta also 
and myself the reason there's so many is because we're all in love with the same thing so we must be doing something right right okay see won't, won't that be absolutely lovely or as a belly band in a big journal or as a you know the side of a big journal the page where you'll you know a side pocket like that it could even be at this point a book marker it's really big but you know not all pages are small you could laminate this punch a hole put a rope and cut the corners here to make it more into a tag this could become a big tag as well i mean the possibilities are endless i will add some sewing right here and maybe on this side i could add fabric my goodness it's so amazing all the things i could do by the way if you don't have a sewing machine and you absolutely want to have those sewing lines let me tell you i've done this numerous times i just went like this like that right and sometimes i'll just do the wiggly there or i'll just you know like this and also another addition to make it look like it is to um sewing is i've taken i've taken this um a thread yes my english is a little difficult this week i apologize for those of you who find it difficult to understand me in the first place um i do work in a french school and so since we're back to school i speak french all day every day and i lose my english <laughs> so you take some thread and all you have to do is add some glue you know and you bunch it up and however way you want just whoops like this it's gonna look a little strange at first but when it's all dried and the glue is finally clear of course it doesn't want to leave my finger because i'm filming that is the rule here it seems hold on one moment i will get it and i'll put maybe a little bit of glue here okay so once it stops sticking to my finger and you can always like cut this doesn't matter really when it's all dried honestly on the journal i mean i didn't do the zigzag super well because i was talking with you and i just wanted to quickly show you but you know you could apply yourself and really do them perfectly or you can do them this way as well right um i honestly think oops i think you're not in focus see it looks like you really did some sewing and i've done this numerous times when i didn't have a sewing machine so don't hesitate and don't think you can have that sewing effect because you don't have a sewing machine i i've done this very very often for i think the whole first year i was crafting because i didn't have a sewing machine okay so yes all that to say that i will go add some some sewing here and here so give me a second now see see this i didn't do the same kind of sewing i, I changed the type of sewing just for fun midway and i mean look at this isn't that just perfect gorgeous it was scrap of paper scrap of paper digital paper digital paper some some sewing and we're done it's gorgeous i absolutely love it okay so and others that i made by the way look i'll show you real quick the other ones that you probably maybe i put them on my thumbnail i'm not sure oh yes let's get so oh i just realized this is a stamp so digital paper i will give you the name of this new um creator i just found i love his digital papers now you can go see mine i like them i like them too however mine are more the pages that you would use to put in your journal of course some of them I, i do give you you know elements to cut out and use in your journal but this one is just elements like so like these so you know the the tags um like this and they're blank and they're um not vintage but grungy i absolutely adore them of course i'll give you the link for um 
what's a uh, ping pong monarch print and my portrait i think you know all of them but i will put it because i always say there's enough place in this creative world for all of us i am not in competition with anyone i just want my own spotlight um so yeah look so this was one of the digitals um this was a robot no it was a sticker one of these stickers that are like um uh, how do you call them um, like washi tapes if you will I can see the the edge here so a sticker digital 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 and a stamp and we got ourselves a gorgeous gorgeous um, tag and like this is a rub on just a little digital paper same thing here rub on digital cutouts you know fussy cut it things um, this is just the digital and this is a, a rub-on flower and a stamp another rub-on flower a stamp and just a few stitches uh, sewing st stitches can I say stitches I don't know but there it is see it doesn't take much is what I'm trying to say just have fun grab stuff do things I just saw a little bird I want to use oh there he is this is on uh, Martha marry me small arts papers so I don't know if these are ones I purchased. I think those are purchased collection. Uh, what's it called? Glue book something. Yes, I think this is one of the purchase. She has free digital kits though. Uh, digi pages, I mean, that you can purchase. And But these I think I purchased. Uh, no, sorry. Oh my goodness. I am not speaking good English. I meant she has free digi papers. So if you if you look up or just Google free digi paper Maremi Small Art, it'll take you to the page. But she also has some that you can purchase, and these were purchased. And I absolutely adore them. Yeah, I um I'm not too fussy about having to purchase papers because I honestly cannot find um a lot of vintage stuff here, you know. Back home I would in Montreal just because there's so I mean, Montreal is big and there's a lot of old bookstores and, and vintage stores of all kinds. Um, but here in Cape Breton, there's not a whole lot, especially not where I am here. So I found one bookstore and sometimes the kind of books that are vintage are not my type. They're not the kind I need. So it's uh, it's more difficult than you would think. So you know what? digital it is I'm still happy I'm still crafting and I create beautiful things and there you go see I'm chatting and I'm I'm hoping <laughs> we'll see when I do the editing of this that I'm not gonna have to put myself in silent and put music because I find that whatever I chatted about was like what am I talking about <laughs> In other words, I hope I won't have to censor myself, which I've done plenty of times. Because I would I would go on a certain subject and then I would think, oh, is that going to bore them? What does my audience want? Uh, it's hard to please everybody. <laughs> some of them rather I don't talk. And some say, oh, no, I love the chit chat. It's all good. And because, um, as you can see, there's not many instructions here where I'm just creating and I'm hoping you're getting inspired to grab your things and create with me. I'm not teaching you anything in particular. You know, I'm just having fun and see where this goes. I like this bird. I think I should need some flowers. Let me see what I have. I have stickers, but I don't feel like having that shiny effect today on anything. I want to keep it... Um, I think the word I'm looking for is matte. So let me just dig through here. Let's see what I find. Okay, so while I was digging through my stuff, I also found this number, which is a digital I just purchased, probably in the batch I showed you. So I'm thinking this number would look nice here, but I'm not going to glue it just yet. We're just doing composition. Um, and so I found a flew, a, f a flew, <laughs> a few flowers. It was the, a mix between few and few and flowers a flu a flu flowers um i like this because it's big i don't think the color matches very well so no um no 
um, other birds but I feel it's redundant and I don't want some birds to take away from this one so no I also found lemon oh wait now I like because there's uh, well I was looking for green but now this matches the bird so I'm not disliking this this will be maybe for another time I have this piece here oh wait what else do I have oh wait now I have other pieces I already cut out oh 17 I guess it's destined <laughs> this is nice also I wonder if I'm just you know randomly making a composition here and also I wonder if I'll put a hole in it like this or maybe just a piece of fabric on top uh, maybe here I'll stamp oh my goodness choices mmm what to do I like it here too like as a, a additional piece this is I don't know it's kind of grungy I like it that's uh, that's the vibe I'm in because I bought these you know grungy digital papers so this is pretty grungy as well and nature and you know this is my style completely okay you know what I think this is going somewhere I'm not sure about this yet maybe this one or maybe it's because see I have to think before I glue because this is a rub-on once it's there you have to decide if you're gonna put it on top or you know so I don't think the circle is the way to go. Oh, now this is, hmm, wait now. Oh, yes, I like that. I could have maybe a stamp there, a number or something. Okay, wait now, hmm. Or the black to mimic this here. And then if I have this here, and a number stamped on it maybe a word oh I think we're going somewhere what do you think oh I wish you were here to tell me do I put the bird oh the bird has to be over like that okay I think this is it this is what I will do and hope for the best I will just make sure all the edges are inked because I see the white of the paper here like this and did I ink this I think I did yeah I did okay so I'm going to glue this down Oops. Oh, this is going to be nice. There. Okay. So if I want to glue or rub the lemon right about here, I think this would be right there. See what it does? Composition, grabbing things, you know, playing until you find balance. Because you know when you're playing with elements, you don't know maybe, but instinctively what you're trying to do is find balance. So you're trying to find balance in the colors, in the shape, in the empty spaces, the negative space, if you will. You are trying to you'll know it because your eye will tell you you know what this looks this looks good um, you don't need to study art it will come naturally of course if you have some art knowledge it'll, it might be easier but other than that you will find it as well you'll find what makes sense and balance with time and practice so when sometimes you look at your pieces and you don't like them, you, you don't know what it is that it's off. Like you've used all beautiful pieces, let's say. They're gorgeous, you love them all. And yet put together, you're not very happy with your work and you're disappointed. Usually it's just because you're not used to creating balance. It's hard to explain. I'm not an art teacher. Let's see if this is going to be good to go yep perfect okay so now i'm going to take something uh, wait you're hearing you, maybe you're hearing me but not seeing i'm trying to grab some leftover fabric i was trying to tear it but it was resisting me so 
going to have to use scissors because I'm not strong enough to cut it, it seems, today. Oh my goodness, hold on. Just trying to cut a piece of fabric. I mean, this was already old and all ripped. I thought I could finish the job with my hands. It seems I cannot. Okay. Um, maybe that's not long enough. Let me grab this one here. Perfect. I want to do some kind of a pull tab here, but I don't want it to be perfect. I want it to be really scruffy, I guess, like something like that. See, it's not, it's just this, like I, I'm not looking for anything specific. So what I do want though, I do want it to be kind of folded, but not super perfect, just yeah like that how can i make this hold until i maybe a double-sided tape would do no i don't know let me think um i'll put some on my tag oh, and this is not straight enough i don't want it perfect just so i can actually sew it okay and this you can easily sew by hand this is too big I think so if you don't have a sewing machine that's, that of course is the easiest thing to sew it's just a few stitches and you're done um, I'm oops that didn't work that this one did that that one didn't put the glue on the tag <laughs> for some reason it didn't take let me see oh good now I glued my tag to the table good job <laughs> Ah, this one won't stay. Okay, never mind. Oh, look, I have part of my table glued to my... <laughs> yeah, see? Right there. <laughs> oh, well, it's really vintage now. Okay, it's okay. I want to sew it here. And then I want to sew this part right here and make it my pull tag. See? Something really simple like that. So let me do that. Okay, so I did, and now just a little finishing touch to make it even better. If I can find the beginning of this thread, like this. Now, sometimes I succeed, sometimes I don't because I only have two hands and nobody else to hold the other end here, but we'll see. I might succeed, I might not. Hold on. a third one just to be safe although two with this type of thread is more than enough I don't know why I'm so insecure about this <laughs> it's not gonna go anywhere there there look at that that's simple enough I think we did good I hope I'm inspiring you this is really nice and now because we we did make a few uh, a few tags earlier. I could already load this up and it would look super nice. I didn't put any ribbon here, but I could. Um, yeah, look, this is really nice. I like sari ribbon. Always looks absolutely gorgeous. And it, it fits the, um, the top of this big tag here, like this, there. Now, isn't that sweet? I think this is lovely. And then we could put another one, like so. Now we're gonna move on to another project. I'm just trying to figure out what it is that I want to do with you. Like I said, I'm trying to just let myself be creative and chit chat with you. And I sure hope I won't have to edit because I'll find myself, you know, centering myself I, I you know by fear of being boring or you know what I didn't put anything here I think I want to put something here first okay how about just a halfway stamp so in other words I'm just gonna use my finger to really direct the where I stamp see just like that 
nothing else. That's that's like a little touch I found um, was missing. Oh my goodness, I love this. Yeah, and then you put another tag right here. And oh my gosh, now I gotta make a journal. See, that's the reason you do elements like this. That's the reason. It's because then you have so many that are already done. Like all these tags I did in the last video, I think, or something. Um, I've got pockets. I've got um, things like that that I've done. These are all ready to put in a journal. And it's fun because I find the, the daunting, I guess is the word I would look for. The daunting task sometimes of filling out a whole journal. It can be, uh, ooh, well, daunting. <laughs> Which is just the word I was saying. Oh, look at these tags. Now, uh, this one would look good too. Anyways, you could put as many as you want, but you know what I mean? Yeah, it's daunting sometimes to think, oh my gosh, I have to fill this journal now. Well, you know what? These elements are already done. So, and this could go inside a pocket as well. So, like at bot the bottom of a page, you put it there, or you just clip it in one of these um, beautiful, I love these. And they were really cheap they came in a big bag too you clip it on the side of the page now isn't that just lovely I love it okay let's move on to something else so I have my own digital papers these I think are vintage wallpaper I think that's what the name is sorry I can't remember my own things uh, but you'll see them in the pictures if you look on Etsy I want to do something with them too and with this person's digital papers I think those would look nice I'm just not sure what but this I have I have some sort of idea I just don't know what um hmm I think I'm brewing an idea right as we speak actually hold on it's coming to me okay so this is already cut with this ruler so I will do the same but it has to be wide enough for this so I have to cut it right about here I think I'm going to do a belly band um, yeah I think we'll see where this goes Okay, so I think I did not ink this, so I will do that. Again, I'm not sure. It might be simple. I don't think I'm going to go with something very complicated. Something quick, but fun and different. Where is my paper punch? Uh, no, my circle punch, whatever it's called. Okay, I'm going to do the holes here. Okay, so this. I don't know if it's going to be a belly band or a side tuck, but I want I want to put this here. And then something else, but I'm not sure what. Um, hmm. Okay, you know what? I'm going to take care of this part first. Because my idea is I'm going to put some eyelets. Let's put some metal in here. Then we could still put something through, right? Like it would have to be a thin. Um, yeah. Okay. See, as I'm talking with you, ideas are coming. The wheels are in motion. <laughs> okay. Let me go put the eyelets. Okay. So I put the eyelets. I like it. Um, and see one of his, the, I say his like he's a man. I have no idea who the creator of uh, the... Li Lu or I Li Lu, I'm not sure what the name is. J Li Lu design, I'm not sure. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna have to um, to put um, the link because I don't know how to how to pronounce it. But for some reason, I decided it was a he. I'm sure. It's, I mean, why? I don't know. Anyways, see the tags fit, and you can make your own, of course, with something else. Um, I also would like to use this somewhere and again I'm not sure what all this will be it could still be a side tuck for a journal page 
or a belly band a large belly band so I'm thinking this will be better as a side tuck because it's so big that you wouldn't have the space you know to it could but you would have to put things on this way because this way you couldn't because of the crease in the middle of the middle of the book of the journal and I found this bird rub on it could be a stamp but I just had him right here I'm thinking this would be nice like that yeah why don't we do that oh wait I'm gonna glue this first um yeah I was gonna say I could have made this into a pocket as well but no I think I'll just leave it this way okay uh, where is my wonderful popsicle stick right here how about we put the bird right there on the corner like so I could have left you know the top unglued and make it a pocket but since this is going to go in this way I didn't want it to go right through inside the pocket but still could have done it like this Yes, like it. I like it a lot. Um, hmm. I don't have a ready tag. I don't think that would fit in there. Okay. Well, I have these tags that I could put and decorate. I could also try and create another. Um, I'm just, like I said, I'm just playing around here. Let me see something. What if I... Hmm. What if I mix papers within papers and let me see something i'm gonna cut this right here um okay where's my scissors just gonna cut it straight here and this would be the tag let's say like so And so this would be glued like that. So I would cut it like um, okay, I would glue it here, so I would cut it right here, and then I would add maybe, oh, hold on, I think I'm going somewhere, I'm not sure what's the width of this, so it has to be a little smaller, maybe like this, let's see, maybe with the letters, maybe with, with not the writing, I don't know, okay, hold on, let's, let's just do it, worst case, we're, we're creating a, a tag that is absolutely gorgeous, so. It's not like we're going to ruin anything here and they're all scraps of paper so let's just do it if it fits the the belly band slash uh, corner side tuck whatever we just created it's good if not it doesn't really matter i'm just going to trim this I, oh, you know what I didn't do though? I didn't ink the edges of this. Let me see if I can unglue it. Yes, because it's so, you know, vintage so so far and grungy. I have to keep with it. I can't go, you know, nice, clean and crisp after going all kinds of grungy. So there, we'll just put glue again. That's all. There we go. It's all good. There. Okay, I'm gonna reposition this where it was supposed to be. And just retrim if we're not exactly at the right spot. Which we are not. It's okay. There. And then now the question is, do I want to um you know what? Let me trim this a little 
more simply because I want to show trim if you will you know the uh, this the dark on every on every side I should have thought of that before I glued it but you can fix it like so now I want to know do I put some of this paper with the writing or do I go with the beige and then maybe add flowers or, or stamp something um, or add flowers on top of this oh that would be nice I think I will go with this let me see that that actually looks pretty really nice I like it let me see what it would look like with um, the book page. So I would have to cut it mm -hmm. like this and just like that. Let's see. And let's see what it would look like. Mm. I like all of the of these options really let me ink the edges and then let me find a flower to put something that's big enough to show and fits everything else here um, if I if I have something like that I'm not sure so what if I glued it here and then um, hmm, what do I have I don't have a long string of flowers however I think we could compose something with these leaves and this dried up hydrangea. Okay, so I will glue it because I think it's perfect. It will look super nice and then we'll try and see what other touches we can add to this. And there we go. Okay, I will spare you the cutting end. Um, yeah, the, the decoupage of this, I'll be back when it's time to put them on. Okay, I'm back because I cut out everything I want to put on this tag. I think this is going to be very, very nice. So I'm going to try not to move anything. I like where I placed them. I really just pretty much threw them there and I thought, oh, that's perfect. So I will do this. Oh my goodness, come on. Okay, so right here. And there we go look at this oh I love it this is perfect I think this was a good idea okay so now um, I just had another idea I'm just not sure that it will work because I'm thinking of this and it's a little late I should have thought of it before but if it reaches I'll be able to do it actually I'll be able to do it anyways I'll show you why I'm thinking of adding more metal to this so um, of course, we're going to put something here for the top of our tag. Oops, this is not glued properly. It's going to lift up every time. Let's not do that. Don't want to ruin what we just created. It looks really nice. There. Okay. So we're going to put something here on top. But in the meantime, I'm thinking I want to do... I think this will look oh wait I really like it this is really nice we're gonna add something here now I'm thinking of adding more metal 
just want to see if it reaches. Oh, it does. One. Two. Three. Four. Yes, this will become a little more grungy and, and rustic just with all the metal. And we're going to do that and we'll have more metal on top. This will look really, really nice. Okay. Those are small, so they're sometimes a little tricky to open. <laughs> tricky to open. There we go. there oh yeah this is this is metal I love it okay um, what else okay so I went ahead and just sewed a piece of fabric you know to pull our tag out of there so I think this is really nice and of course you don't always see the four corners of metal you could if you leave it this way because again this will be I think a side tuck I don't think this is um, small enough for a belly band. So I think I would leave it this way. Now I think we need a few stamps here. I'm not sure which one. I have a, you know, a bunch of favorites here that you've seen many, many times. Um, let me see. I have these, you know, like post office and such. And I think this would be... Um, oh, I like, I like numbers numbers like this oh yeah I like it let's do that like so and then for the other one I'm thinking maybe a circle here and I have bird stamps I don't have many oh yeah since there's birds yes yes okay let's do that so a bird right here perfect and maybe this circle one right there and not straight like this oh I love it very nice see not complicated easy just go with your instincts and there you go this I am liking a lot I like it this is really nice I like that my paper matched his or hers <laughs> because it's colors right the orangey feel to it i really like it oh this would be very nice as a side tuck i am loving it and if it does happen that it's a little too um long you can just push this down right a little further it you still see everything really well and then just shorten it to fit the length of your page so yeah i don't know how long this is um a lot of my pages are eight and a half because i fold regular pages in half and this is eight and a half so technically it would fit a, a journal and a lot of them are more um around you know seven but that would be enough because i would cut it right here and this would come out of the journal and we all love i think i'm not the only one that love things that come out of the journal well Wow, okay. So today we made two side tucks and I think you call them loaded pockets or no, loaded tags, sorry. And they all have that very um, nature, botanical, well actually not botanical necessarily, there are birds, but nature, vintage, grungy file, uh, uh, feel to it. And Frankly, I really, really love it. I love that I took, like I said, digitals and scraps of papers to create these. Some are mine, some are purchased from other people, but there it is. I really, really hope um, that you've enjoyed this. And like I said, these were made earlier, like I showed you at the beginning of the video, and the ones we inserted in here were made earlier. Um, I sure hope this inspired you to let yourself be free of creating first of all with whatever you have whether it's digital or old 
book if you're very lucky and you you are that kind of person that is near all these beautiful kinds of papers just go right ahead but what i meant to say is sit down and grab some bases right so that's what i done because i showed you at the beginning of the video i have gazillions of fussy cutted elements and they're all everywhere in my little um drawers I, we we haven't even used these see I, I could and maybe i will keep going on after this video or make a second video look this would look fabulous right there i didn't use it i might i don't know i have so many and i i fussy cut i'm excited when i purchase them and then i they go in my drawers like this um and sometimes i forget but look at all the beauties we've created this will go in the other drawer i showed you of elements that are pre-made to fill future journals and this is easy so you know those days where you don't want to sit down and start a whole big project because sometimes it's too much energy to spend we're tired don't just don't just create a bunch of elements think of what you need for journals whether it's tags site tucks pockets uh, loaded tags um, specimen cards things like that and create some of them you know um, because things that you put in journals like uh, postcards um, you know you know um, vintage created that you, the things you created yourself right like pa page tabs bookmarks uh, mini envelopes um, uh, skinny little notepads that you can uh, put inside a pocket um, it could be uh, well like we did we did um, some of those um, tags you could make a little uh, corner pockets layered pockets and tag pockets all kinds so when you don't feel like you have enough energy to create a whole journal create elements and put them aside because I guarantee when you have a journal made and you have that energy to do a journal then you can just go ahead in your stash and fill that journal and you're done also creating these sometimes will spark the idea of a journal because right now I see a journal right here with these elements that i created and others that i've created before all of these if i grab just a few that i created lately so all these you see this that was already done this that was already done these tags i got myself a, a i got myself a journal here on the go you know so go right ahead um, take some basics, so uh, take large pieces of maybe papers, book pages, leftover uh, papers like I had, like this, this, and this book page, and or you know, and create basic uh, tags and fold paper, play around. And once these are done, then add your other elements that you have spent a lot of time fussy cutting and um, decorate them and you'll have your elements in no time and you'll have also a sense that you actually created some things because it can get pretty overwhelming to sit down and say well what am i going to do today uh what kind of journal don't think like that grab elements create new ephemera and elements and pockets and tags and such and go from there those will inspire a journal i can guarantee it um, and if not well in the meantime you're having fun and you're being creative and you'll have the sense of fulfillment so i will leave you on this for today i hope you have learned something i hope i've inspired you i've heard i hope you've enjoyed the chit chat and crafting and maybe i've inspired you to grab your own things and start crafting with me or after you've seen this video I give you a great big hug from here in Nova Scotia, Canada. I hope you are all happy, healthy, and safe. On this, I say thank you for watching. See you soon. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>